Good afternoon everybody and welcome. My name is Laszlo Kovács. I would like to present my work in Medivis project at IT4I National Supercomputing Center at Ostrava. Since the time is very short, I would like to highlight it just the milestones in the current results without any scientific details. The computer tomography are well spreaded in the last two decades. Nowadays, CT has an important role in medicine since they are used as a non-invasive examination in medical treatment. On the right side you can see how it looks like a modern new CT machines. One of the areas where the CTs are used is human lymph cancer. Based on World Health Organization surveys, all over the world over 1 million deaths per year, which is about 10% of all deaths among the adults, can be contributed to the liver cancer, namely hepatocellular or carcinoma. On the right side below you can see a very diseased human liver. The main aim of the project is to support the doctors with a new 3D photorealistic visualizer. With this visualizer we can create a more punctual and faster clinical treatment which means we could save more lives. Thanks to the high performance computing demand the new HPC coprocessing technology is essential in our projects. Our solution has four main steps. These are preprocessing, segmentation, postprocessing and 3D visualization. The HPC technologies are used in all of them. The next slides introduced you all of this step and after this I will show you how works our solution. DICOM is a well spreaded medical image format. The CT creates help by X-ray some pictures about the surveyed organs in concrete example from the liver. We use this DICOM to store the images. To achieve better performance we use CT in higher resolution. During the picture creation process the CT machines can add some noise into the pictures. It is necessary to suppress this noise so we use Gauss smoothing and BM3D algorithms to remove it in all slices. This is the first preprocessing step. After this there is a pixel intensity transformation into Hounds field units. This is useful since the different organs has typical HU values. For instance in case of the liver this value is between 40 and 60. After this we convert the image data into image vectors. On the, this slide you can see the examples how looks like the image slices and how looks like a slice before random noise reduction and after. The next step is the segmentation. In the segmentation step we use K-means algorithms to segment in every slices the pieces of the liver. This is a general algorithm which classify the pixels into different classes based on its similarity measurements. You can see on the picture the results regarding when the noise subsession is off and on. In the post-processing step we reconstruct the surface of the liver from the given segments. As for the 3D reconstruction we used the marching cube methods. You can see on the slide the final results after 3D smoothing. To create and render Real 3D visualization of our segmented 3D object, we use OpenSieve Graph Hive Performance Visualization Tool. This is a C++ cross-platform library, so our viewer could be used under different operating systems also. In our viewer has some feature like hand tracking and head tracking. In the case of hand tracking, we use leap motion sensor which is an infrared camera to track your hand. The viewer could render the picture into a virtual reality also. The program all identified automatically whether a 3D reality glasses are connected or not. If it yes, put the generated sand into the middle of the virtual reality when the person are standing held by a virtual reality glasses like Oculus. This Oculus Rift can track it your have movement so you can follow the object movement in with a virtual reality. The photorealistic visualization of the segmented object was created by the open source Blender program. And now I would like to show you how it looks like our results and how it works our 3D viewer. You can see some pictures on the slide and on the right side you can see we started to work with kidneys also. This is the our one-sided 
3D texture on successfully segmented 3D kidney object. And now comes the example videos. Thanks for your attention and to the IT4HPC to render my video presentation. Goodbye.